Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Tineco Pure One S12 cordless vacuum cleaner. And what I want to do today is just show you around the vacuum, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and really why if you are in the market for a cordless vacuum, then this is one to consider. But all I'd normally do, first of all, is to say please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up. What I do is I normally talk about household appliances and especially cordless vacuums. So just give us a thumbs up and then we'll get going. Now over the years I have reviewed quite a few cordless vacuums, but not many have put a big smile on my face like this one when you first open the box. And the main reason, uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure why. Uh, I think it's partly the, the white and the black combination. I just really like the look of it. Also, there's a really nice looking LED display on the top here. I'll go through that in a moment. Anyway, about the vacuum itself, so this kind of design is a pretty standard design, the, the actual layout of it, uh, where you've got the, the bin arrangement just here, you've got the on and off switch here. And this, it is a trigger based system, uh, but what they have done is they have done their research and they have found that uh, what people want is they don't always want to have to keep your finger on the trigger. And I'll show you what I mean, because what they've done is they've actually put a little switch around this side. So I'll just show you this. So first of all, you can use the trigger if you want to. And that can be very good for, say, short bursts of vacuuming. Uh, but if you know you want to vacuum for some time, then you have got the switch here. And that has a huge, huge advantage. Uh, the main reason is that some people do suffer with the hands. So if you have things like arthritis, then you could really struggle to keep your finger on the trigger. Uh, so really, this has the best of both worlds. Now, when it comes to the actual running time, on this particular model, you've got up to 50 minutes run time. And clearly that's gonna be on the lower suction. Um, you have got different suction levels. If you use it on the higher suction, then that will be reduced. Uh, there are other models in the range, and I'll post a couple of links here, where you can actually get uh, extra batteries. Uh, so with this one, this is a single battery vacuum. There are other models in the range very close to this that have two batteries. And the main advantage, if you are going to do a lot of vacuuming, then while you're using the, one of the batteries, then you can pop the other one on charge. So if you did want to change the battery for another one, then it is very easy to do. All you do is you just press your finger in at the back here and take the battery out. Now, I must admit, I do love a cordless vacuum where you can just take the battery out and change it over or replace it. Uh, the main reason, there are quite a few manufacturers that are just going with fixed batteries in the vacuums. And what that means is that, uh, well, I mean, with, with any cordless vacuum, over the years, the battery, the, the rechargeable battery will degrade. And that's just how things go. Uh, but at least what Tineco have done is they've realised that and they've just given the, the ability to change the battery over. And what I was saying earlier is that I don't really like it where the battery is fixed in the vacuum because what it means is that when, when the battery goes that's pretty much right in the vacuum off and that is a complete waste. So what I'll do now to show you the display on the vacuum and first of all you'll see in the middle that it will show the runtime left of the vacuum that, and that can be really useful. Uh, what you'll also find is it does have something called smart technology and what this means is it will actually adjust the suction level depending on the surface it's vacuuming on. And I will give you a demonstration of this in a couple of minutes, uh, but I just want to show you on the display here. And what it will also do is it will actually have a different colour band around the outside, so it, it flicks between blue and red. Uh, so if it's blue, then it means that there's no dirt, and if it's red, that means that it's sucking up a lot of dirt. I'll just quickly show you this. So I'm not sure if you heard the suction level change, and that's part of their smart technology. So what will happen is if you're on a, a floor that's, say, very dirty, then it will increase the suction. Uh, if you go on to, say, a laminate floor where there's not much dirt, then it will reduce the suction. And that has a huge advantage in that it will uh, save the battery. Um, so rather than, um, say, vacuuming for, say, 20 minutes, then that can be increased as well. So as well as having the auto option, uh, where it will actually adjust the, 
suction of the vacuum depending on the surface it's on or the amount of dirt that's around uh, but what you can do is you do have the option for a manual override and what I mean by that is if you discover that you've got say a very dirty area that you manually want to increase or decrease the suction then you can do and I'll just show you this so it's, it's on a sliding scale here so that's with the auto option So hopefully you could hear the difference and as I say it was I was just moving my finger up and down here and it was increasing the suction or decreasing it and hopefully you could see on the display here the level of suction so a really really good design I, I absolutely love this so on the display here it will actually show you the amount of charge in here so it clearly goes from zero up to a hundred um, when it is charging then it will actually show the uh, the number on here so if, if it goes up to at the moment it's on around 60 so the 60% charged it's not necessarily the minutes that you've got left it's more as a, as a percentage of the battery which personally I think is, is a really good way of doing it so the main other things that will show on the display are if you've got blockages around the vacuum uh, also if you do need to clean the roller brush then it will give you a little indicator on the front here now at the moment even if I show you the display it won't show you on here because there isn't a blockage. Now whether you've seen any of my other YouTube videos, uh, I've done quite a few on cleaning vacuums and I must admit I do, I suppose because I've stripped down quite a few cordless vacuums, I know the ones that are easy to maintain and there are quite a few that are quite difficult to maintain on a weekly or monthly basis whenever you clean the vacuum. Now I must say that having a look around this vacuum I'm really impressed with how easy it is to clean. Uh, as far as the filtration, you have got several filters on here. The first one is at the back, and it's just a, a little clip arrangement, so you just press the clip down, pull that filter out. Uh, with that, so it's nice and easy to just give it a quick rinse under water. Let that dry completely. Uh, it's normally recommended for around 24 hours. That one you don't have to do too often. Uh, what you have got is you have got another filter just underneath here and all you do is you just pull that out and it is recommended to do it that way round so when you do pull it out then hold it upright and pull it out like that what you don't want to do is you don't want to do it upside down and I know you can you can see the instructions on here and it is tempting to do that but what you'll find is as you pull it out a lot of the dirt can go back into the motor so just do it upright pull the filter out and with this filter uh, you can see there are instructions on here so it says wash and dry monthly and then replace every well replace every half year uh, what what I do normally say so when it comes to cleaning the filters clearly you can give it a rinse if you want to now what Tinico have done is they've come up with something which personally I haven't seen with, with any other manufacturer and I suppose what I'd normally say is when you come to clean the filters clearly you have to give them a rinse underwater once you've cleaned it then you have to wait for it to dry and that is normally recommended for 24 hours uh, but first of all what I'd recommend is to buy a spare filter so that when you're washing the first one then you can actually use the other filter in it while the first one's drying and to be fair that normally works really well uh, but what you do find over especially over a couple of years of having the filters if you do keep washing them then it does have quite an effect on the suction performance uh, and the way to know that is that if you put a new filter in a lot of people go wow that that is a huge difference and that's really caused by washing them so what Tenneco have done is they've actually come up with this and what this device will do is this will actually clean your filter uh, so first of all you do get a spare filter with a vacuum that's just in here at the moment I'll just show you that so we just pull that out so it's the same same one as the original one that I just showed you so you've got the original one here and then this is the, the spare one that you do get with it so this is called a pre-filter cleaning attachment and the idea of this 
is that you put the filter in here and then you shut the little door on the side and what it will do is it will actually run through a program when you attach it to the vacuum and it will actually clean the filter itself now I'll just show you this because this is really really impressive so you just pop it on the front there um, as I say it will actually run through a full program it normally only takes a minute or so but what you'll see is that the filter will actually rotate and then it'll rotate the other way and I'll say that that's not the full program um, it normally takes around a minute to do the full clean of the filter uh, but what that does that gets rid of a lot of the dirt within the filter and I'm not saying you don't need to wash it uh, but what you can do is you can really really increase the life of the filters by using this attachment and that's included with the s12 model as well so when it comes to emptying the bin itself uh, if you just want to empty it first of all then you've just got a button on the front here and that just drops down. Um, and what we normally say is, we always recommend to empty the bin in a well-ventilated area. So that's normally recommended to do outside, ideally. Uh, or if you are doing it inside, then just be careful because when the dust comes out, then it can come back up at you. Uh, but what you'll also find is that that's okay um, if you just want to empty it. Uh, but clearly, if you want to give it a, a more of an in-depth clean, then you'll need to take the bin off. Now, it's something I do show people, uh, mainly because some manufacturers are quite difficult to take off, uh, but with the Tenneco one, then it is very easy. You have got a button just on the inside here, and all you do is you just press that down, and then the bin comes off like that. So, dead easy. And what you can do is you can actually get into it a little bit more. So, as well as taking the filter out, and once you've actually opened the bin then you can take that out uh, to be fair you can take that out while the bin is still on the actual vacuum itself if you want to now that part is washable so if you want to give it a give it a good clean then just rinse it under water uh, and again let it dry completely before you put it back in the vacuum now with most of these bins on Cordis vacuums I would say that you'd be okay to give them a rinse uh, but personally I'd say don't with this one uh, and the main reason I'm not sure if you can see in here but you have got some wires in here and you've got some metal contacts so for that reason I would not recommend uh, cleaning this as far as putting it under water uh, what I would recommend doing is getting uh, say a brush uh, something like a paintbrush if you want to clean it and also getting something like a microfiber cloth uh, just a damp cloth uh, doesn't have to be soaking wet just give it a, a white round and then once you've done that then to put this back in so that just slots in there like that just twist it and shut the lid and then all you do is you just locate the clip at the top front there that just clips back into place and then the filter that I talked about then that just drops back in and you just push it and it's it's a nice solid clip so that just pushes back in and then you're ready to go so with the Tineco vacuum you do get quite a few tools and accessories with it the first one is this and now this is called the direct drive LED multitasker power brush bit of a mouthful uh, but with this this is the main floor head that comes with a vacuum uh, what you have got is you've got a, a row of cheeky little LEDs on the front and with these this really helps so if, if you vacuum in uh, say under a bed or in a dark area then that can really help with the vacuum in and it's something I point out because you know quite a few people are, are vacuuming say in, in awkward areas and that can really make life a lot easier uh, also when it comes to the brush itself on the underside you've actually got two types of brushes so you have got the soft bristles and you've also got some fairly stiff bristles as well and that's really good as a as a different combination for things like hard floors and carpets so clearly at some point you're going to need to clean the brush 
Uh, I do find it's quite frustrating sometimes when your manufacturers make it really difficult to take the brush out, uh, especially if you need to get a, a coin or screwdriver to take the head apart. That can be quite frustrating. So I'm really pleased that Tinico have come up with a really simple solution that's nice and quick. So you've got a little switch on the side here and all you do is you press the switch and push that and then that enables you to pull the brush out. And then once you've taken it out, it's just nice and easy to either take the hairs off if you want to, because if you've got any members of the family or animals with long hairs, then they can get wrapped around the brush. Um, and then when you put it back in, you just pop the brush in and you just locate it and then to fix it into place, you just clip that back and it's ready to go. Now I know it's only a minor thing, but you have got the rubber wheels on here. And I'm pulling that out because, especially if you're vacuuming a lot, uh, say on hard surfaces, things like laminate floors, and if you live in a flat and you've got somebody below you, then there's nothing more frustrating than having a, a vacuum that's just got plastic wheels because that can be really noisy. And the next tool it comes with is this. This is the mini power brush. Now with all of these tools, and I'll just show you it on the vacuum itself, they do just clip on. So just clip on like that. Uh, it's using a very simple system uh, where you just press the button and then the tool comes off. So this is the next tool that it comes with. This is the mini power brush. And this is a rotating brush that's ideal for things like stairs or if you're going to do the car, then that's just a, a really good one to really get into, say the carpet for example. And that when it comes to cleaning this, all you do is you just press that and then pull the brush out. So again, just a really simple design that Tinico have come up with. Just clean the brush and then to put it back in, you just pop it in the side there and then that just clips back into place and then you're ready to go. The next tool it comes with is this one. This is a two in one brush. Uh, so you'll find the, the main one here at the top. That's more of like an upholstery tool. And then you've got a, a dusting brush. If you push it up and that clips into place, so they're quite soft bristles. And I suppose this kind of brush is ideal for uh, if you're doing, say, in a, a kitchen worktop, something like that. Uh, I mean, here in our showroom, we've got quite a few hobs and uh, this will be ideal for doing around the hob. And then when you want to go back to the upholstery tool, then you just press the button and that slides down. And the last tool it comes with is this one. This is a standard crevice tool. Uh, to be fair, this is pretty standard across most cordless vacuums, but I'm really glad that Tinico have put this in. Uh, the main reason, if you're doing, say, down the side of a sofa, then if you need something that's that's quite thin, just to get down the side or even down the side of your car seat, then that's a good one to use. Uh, you do also get this little brush with it, so that can just help to cl clean and maintain the vacuum itself. And of course, you do get the main wand as well. So this model is in a, a matte black finish. As you have a look at some of the other models in the range, they do have different colors. Uh, as you go to one of the other models, it's a, a really nice blue finish. And with these, so this just clips on there like that. And as well as the main floor head that attaches at the bottom, then any of these tools can attach on as well. So if you found that you've got a couple of cobwebs up in the corner, then just Put one of the tools in there and that just enables you to get up high. So as good as the runtime is on this vacuum, clearly at some point you are going to need to recharge it. This is the charger that it comes with, uh, but what you also get is you also get a wall dock as well. Now this isn't just for the vacuum to sit on, this is designed that you can put the tools on as well. And it is recommended that you put the charger, so you mount this underneath here, so the idea is that you would actually plug that in. So you just plug it in and then you connect that up to your main socket. And then once you've done that, then the, the vacuum itself will sit within the wall mount. So this design works really well, uh, I suppose for a couple of reasons. First of all, it takes it off the floor. You don't need to worry about finding, say, a spare table to put the vacuum on. I'm always a huge fan of wall mounts. Uh, you do get a couple of wall fixings as well with it, a couple of roll plugs to help you put it on the wall. Um, the other reason is that when it's charging, it will show you on here at what percentage the battery is. 
So, you know, if you want to wait till it's 100%, then at least you've got a visual indicator as to how far it is. Uh, the other thing I did mention about the tool storage, and you'll find that it's just a, a nice simple design. So you can pop the tools on here like this. And they've also gone one step further. So what you can do is if you do have the model with two batteries, or if you just decide to buy a spare battery with this one, then you can just pop it in the side here to charge. And I'll just show you that. So I'll just take the battery out of this one, just to show you. So all you do is you just look for the contacts and pop that in there so that that can charge. And what you could be doing is that you could be vacuuming and you're charging the other battery at the same time. So just a really nice simple design because with some quarter vacuums, and I know not a lot of people think about these kind of things, but with some vacuums, you can only charge the battery on the vacuum itself. Uh, whereas at least with this model, then you've got the ability to charge the battery while you're vacuuming as well. So what I want to do now is I want to do a couple of demonstrations of it. The first one I'll do is I'll be using it as a handheld model. And as you can see, I've accidentally spilled some rice around this hob. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll be using the, the soft bristle brush. This is the two in one brush just see how it performs. So hopefully you can see on here. First of all, that it was, uh, as, as it, was sucking up the rice, uh, it was changing from a blue to a red circle. And what that meant is that when I vacuum in, that it detected that there was a lot of dirt on here, so it actually increased the suction, and that's using the auto mode. So I will just show you that again, uh, but what I'll do this time is actually use it manually, just to see whether that makes a difference. So as you could hear, it was just on the full power all the time. Uh, now, although the, the pickup ability, personally I think was probably slightly better doing it that way. Um, I think the using the auto mode was the better option, um, mainly because the battery will last a lot longer doing it that way. And again, hopefully you could see that uh, it was changing from the blue to the red as it sucked up a lot of the rice. So the next test I want to do uh, is first of all using some porridge oats just here and then I've got some sawdust. Now the reason I use these two types um, of dirt on the floor, first of all this carpet I'm vacuuming on is quite a horrible carpet. This is our showroom carpet and it's really really short pile uh, but it's also quite wiry. So some cordless vacuums do struggle with these and this is why it's a really good test. Um, the only other thing to mention is just try and keep an eye on the display to see if it changes from the blue to red. Um, I'll try and angle it down so you can see the display while I'm vacuuming as well. And I will do this in auto mode, so I'm not selecting the, the manual option as well. So this will be a really good test for it. So first of all, just to mention that it did not struggle at all with those. Um, with quite a few cordless vacuums, I've had to run over three or four times to get all the dirt up, but that didn't struggle at all. Um, also, hopefully you notice on the display, um, it did change from the blue to red, and what that was doing, that was showing that it was a very dirty area, 
and hopefully you heard also the increase in the suction that's using the auto or the the smart technology and again really really impressed I'm almost speechless how well that did so as well as being a really good vacuum cleaner you've also got the option to download the Tinico app and what this will do is this will actually integrate with the vacuum cleaner and it can actually give you a lot of reports as to how the vacuum is doing uh, so I must admit I'm having to read this just to give you the full rundown uh, but what it will do through the app is first of all it gives you the battery level um, then it gives you a cleaning report so it displays the, the amount of dust the, the working hours and the working status so it will tell you how long you've vacuumed for uh, also you've got the suction adjustment so when you're in manual mode you can actually change the suction through the app on your phone uh, that, that could be quite cool especially if you've got someone in the house that is vacuuming then you go and change it through the app that could be quite fun uh, also a reminder of the filter status so if the filter needs cleaning then it will give you a reminder uh, it's things like that that are really really good and I must admit I love technology like that so if you're thinking of buying one of these I've provided a link or a couple of links below to show you where to get them at competitive prices I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Tinico Pure One S12 Cordless Vacuum Cleaner please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and leave any comments below I do always ask for comments whether it's good or bad about the video itself hopefully I've covered a lot of the things about the vacuum I must say I'm really really impressed with this as I mentioned earlier I've uh, reviewed and talked about quite a few cordless vacuums over the years but even when I first unboxed this it made me smile uh, but as I say I do ask for comments on the the video also if you've got any questions on it then just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you also if you have got one of these if you have got one of the Tinico S12 vacuums then let me know what you think Thanks for watching.